One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. It's going to be a quick update type video and a walk around showing the yard and stuff. Look at this. Right down in our backyard. Deer. Eaten. I hope you can see that focus. I'm on a camera phone. Camera phone? Yeah, that's what it is. They just sitting down there eating. There's always deer down there. You see a green cage down there too. I put a couple of roosters down there. You can hear them crowing. But there's quail everywhere down here. This is the backyard. Sorry, I was not zoomed out. And as you can see, there ain't much as far as a backyard. It's storage of stuff. The propane tank, you can see we drive the skid steer through here. I got bumpers and stuff everywhere. Kind of a hodgepodge of everything we need to use. But backyard is beautiful. You can hear them pheasant down there. They're usually under this tree, but they all flew away. When I went over there, I'm gonna show you the chicken coop and go around and show all kinds of stuff. I've got a list of videos. So we got this pond down there, and the property goes down to about where those deer are. And that's the pond. And the pond. And like I say, we crawl through here with the skid steer hauling stuff back and forth all the time because it's so handy to have extra room. Now, after winter hit, this became a little bit of a mess with the blowing around, but got stuff ready to have a fire. Just got the trash cans to haul the, the, I'll get all that food, all the chicken feed. It's absolute mess right now. We had to put stuff around here. We got lights installed up there and we had to move all this stuff, throw it all over trying to catch chickens. These guys were down there, here you go. How you guys doing? All kinds of chickens. So here's this guy. These are Jersey Giants. They're our outdoor roosters. We got a couple in there with the pig keep it company. Hi, Pig. Pig has got huge. How you doing, Piggy Piggy? And there's all kinds of chickens. So, this is the road that goes down to the other land, and this is the main lawn. And I got a bunch of crap. Stuff's blown all over. We're using this stuff to do seeds and stuff last year, and the snow hit fast. Hey, Piggy Pig. What are you doing, Pig? What are you doing? I like that one. I don't know what kind of chicken that is. That was our surprise chicken they sent for free. We got these three are roosters. Roosters, Kenny Rogers roosters. I got this Kia in, got a bunch of Trans Ams and such, of course, still. But Kia, Kia. Yeah, here's the miniature horse. She's one ugly horse, and all they do is freaking eat and crap, man, that's for sure. No more miniature horses for me. Like I say, stuff's thrown all around and we building, moving, and catching up with stuff. I mean, we got the pr torch out. We had to melt stuff off here because of the snow and everything. Hey, guys. You're not going to attack me, are you? Don't attack me. Don't attack me. Okay, we got to go look. We um, actually hatched a chick. Hey, girls. You laid an egg right out here in the middle of nowhere? Just right now it happened, too. Holy smokes. Well, we know which one it is. This is the one right there with the little retarded comb. Actually, a couple of them had that. This guy's little comb got frostbit. He won't go inside. This one won't go inside as much either. Don't know why. But in here, we had two mama laughing chickens. And we put these two in for them to have fun with. Oh, you're not keeping your eggs warm, are you? That was a little chick. We had one laughing chicken. Three days old. No, excuse me. One day old today. I had it yesterday morning. And these girls are definitely protecting it. This one, I don't know what she's doing, but this guy's thinking beautiful, beautiful leghorn chicken. You girls supposed to sell them eggs. <laughs> Pretty cute, but just an update. Got all kinds of pins everywhere. We got fertile eggs, we got laughing chicken eggs. This guy will take you on too. Fertile laughing chicken eggs. We got fertile hard rock eggs and <laughs> Yeah, I know it's funny stuff, ain't it buddy? <laughs> Their laugh is pretty funny. So as you can see, there's more inside. We got like I don't know, 75 to 80 chickens. <laughs> gobble, gobble, gobble. So that's the the walk around of this.
Hey, Rocco. They are fun, for sure. And we got more eggs. If y'all were here, I'd give you eggs. I got more eggs than I know what to do with. Hey, never gonna do them at 442. But the stuff's getting all divided up, brought a bed up to where you're grabbing stuff the chickens can climb on and everything. These lights are amazing. Check the link below. Right now, you can almost see all the way out everywhere. You can see to the road, but it's not entirely bright. There's the other miniature horse. Hey, Bruce. Still call me Bruce. Trash trailer stuck in Lolo. So I got trash building up like crazy because uh, on the way back, pulling the, um, the siding trailer, stinking Ford just started overheating and spitting antifreeze. These are airport lights. They're all over the place. I'm going to do a walk around and show all the cars sometime soon. Look at all the airport lights. Got a 302 Chevy motor. Uh, yeah, Chevy motor. A couple other oddball Chevy type things. But, yeah. This is the aftermath of winter. We still got snow in the hills and stuff like that going on. <laughs> got a ladder up there. We're putting a uh, big old goosh, stadium light out there on that. We're going to run one on top of that building over there also. And that'll give us a a heck of a lot of more light out here more security and stuff as well got the cameras installed there'll be a light going up on that building Look at this. i think there's 13 doors there's seven on this side and six on the other why that type of a cross i don't know actually i don't have a clue yeah wait one two three five on this side seven on that side is 12. it's even weirder than i thought there's an extra the doors on this alone, think of the cost for the roll-up doors. But my dad's got 12 of these. If you want one somewhere, they'd be for sale. I sell them. And I got them two locations for you. Whether you're in Montana as a sleeper for a pitterbelt, like I told you earlier in the videos. Got the big old fifth wheel up here. We'll be getting that primed up. I sold one of the chargers, sold the Jeep, sold something else. I sold all kinds of stuff over the last couple months, a couple yeah, the Nissan Sentra. Um, I actually need cars. I'm in, I'm in a dire need of cars. I need to get rid of that. If anybody is interested, it's a sweet little GS300. Um, I'm not going to do a complete walk around today, but the car's nice. We drove it back. Actually, Rich drove it to Colorado from Vegas and then up here. So I think we put, between that and Katrina driving around, I think we put like 3,500 miles on it. Got another trailer I bought at the auction. I showed you guys that a while back. That thing came through and Rich got that picked up, it's his. Sold a couple attachments. I got all kinds of skid steer attachments. I showed you a video of bringing them up, but not a lot going on yet for the almost spring. It is almost, ooh, look at that, see that light came on. I got something wrong with the sensor on it and it comes on randomly. But that thing is so bright. Like if I was standing here, you could make me out on my cameras, which is pretty impressive. It's pitch black out here at night. I gotta get some of this stuff. Rich grabbed this off of a motorhome at his dad's storage place before it got sold and went to um, the new owners. It's kind of a cool generator. This thing, Harbor Freight Trailer. I'm gonna take some pictures of that before I go in because that's gonna be for sale. I gotta get a couple things listed, like that Cadillac. I don't care if I list that, I'll keep that. On um, that Tahoe, I haven't even listed yet. Have not even listed them. Why not? I don't know. Just haven't got around to it, I guess. But ah, that's pretty much a walk around of the. See, this is still full of stuff from that day that I showed you. Um, we found the 1022. It's over a month ago. And I still got stuff on there that I haven't been able to take in. Look, this is a mess. I got a tire machine now. But it's just a mess of stuff running around trying to keep things going on. Messes happen in the shop. It shouldn't be this messy. But I need more shelving, I need more things. I buy some shelving, but then I sell it. And then I buy so much stuff and junk, like these ballasts. I got a pallet of ballasts. And these are, um, they don't have them anymore. They don't make them anymore. There's a six pack of ballasts right there. There's hundreds of them here. They're like 150 bucks a piece on um, um, eBay. You can look up the video on the air battery fuel cell tester and the spectrometer, but it's mostly junk that is worth something. I mean, all these tools, what do you do with them? Oh, well, I gotta throw away these nails either. I gotta find a place to put them. It's just having rentals and having stuff like that. 
I've actually just had so many people that just I, I end up repoing stuff and you know what I mean this is but it's a mess too much stuff look at that uh, hitch for a brand new Ford I think my dad I think that's my dad's and he drove up with that I don't know why he didn't take it back with him but that's the deal <laughs> engines and junk airware I tell you junk airware uh, this is up had a bad tranny we got all the parts to rebuild it Gotta do something with these heaters. They're definitely worth a little something still. But, well, that's the video. I'll just start back here where I stopped. And, what did I mean? <laughs> Stop back here where I started. And I'll tell you, over here, we're going to get it going for that. Look at all the extra tires. I just thought I heard a coil or something jumping out at me. Look at all the tires over here. Oh, well, I got extra doors and junk I just didn't want to throw away now that's just junk my old office help filled it up with trash and now we're gonna have to muck it out at some point it's ridiculous it's ridiculous but you can't throw away good wire and good metal and good good and good good all kinds of good stuff back there rich almost got that done it's just basically that edge I don't know if we're gonna tear that building down yet but well that's the deal. A wing for an old square body Chevy. I was hoping I'd see the chickens in the backyard backyard. But I don't see them down there. I'm thinking thinking how fast they breed. You can make them take over the valley. Just free range chickens. Okay, well, thanks for watching. Just a quick video to show you the chickens and the... Look at them, man. They're just all over the place. That's the deal. I'm just doing a quick video. We'll be doing siding on this house here soon at some point. But I'll give you an outro of looking at the beautiful backyard. Or do we do? Ah, let's go look at the chickens. What else to talk about? I don't know. I've got a glass repair and T-top repair coming up video. And I've got some other videos on just things that save you money and stuff like that. So I'll be uploading stuff this week. I've got something going up tomorrow. I'm gonna, I've been thinking about doing a live stream. Tell me what you think about that in the down below you guys sit there flapping each other well guys thanks for watching have a great day or night whatever it is wherever you are one owner car guy dot com oh, what are these guys gonna fight or something we've had to split them up a little differently to where they don't fight but that's that we'll talk to you